as well. Now, there is a heck of a lot to get through, so here goes. What is a CO2 rifle? Well, it's basically an air-powered rifle powered by carbon dioxide, which is supplied in many different forms, starting with the familiar 12-gram CO2 cartridge, which has similar siblings in the form of soda siphons, emergency life jackets, tyre inflators, etc. But there is no threaded end on these, and of course this is carbon dioxide, so in most cases they're not interchangeable with other products. They work by fitting these into a gun which pierces them when tightened up. The gas is then released in measured amounts when you pull the trigger, sending the pellet or ball bearing down the barrel towards the intended target. How fast? Well, that is determined by many factors, including primarily how much gas is released when you pull the trigger. This amount is usually set by the factory when the gun is made, but often can be adjusted to suit the individual. But be careful to make sure it doesn't produce more power than is legally allowed in your area. Police forces don't take kindly to that. But of course, the more air released each time means more power potentially but the, the trade-off is fewer shots from each capsule. There are many more options and sizes of CO2 cartridges. Firstly, the dual method. This can be back-to-back, -back, as in this. Or side-by-side -side in this M4 type replicate. It should be pointed out this doesn't normally mean more power but simply more shots and is usually a method used on guns likely to use more shots per session or guns with a blowback type action where a lot of air can be wasted giving the feel of recoil. <laughs> The other option is to use a larger capsule to supply a higher reserve of air. This normally takes the form of an 88 gram item which naturally does supply a greater reserve of air but it's heavier and bulkier and naturally more expensive. These are screw fitting heads rather than a clamp in method to pierce the capsule but that doesn't mean these can be removed once fitted because it still pierces the end and removing it would result in losing all the air from them. The issue can be that sometimes these will also leak air slowly if left in the gun unused for long periods of time. And then when you return to use it, you find the capsule has emptied itself. This then becomes an expensive pastime. So some guns can take an adapter, which allows you to use...